It's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. It's daily walk time. Do you know what? I did realise how blessed I am and what's on my doorstep. Um, so I take a lot of stuff for granted. I drive in the car. I drive all these different places around the UK. And this is literally about a two mile walk from my house. And just check this. Literally, I've just come across fields. I've seen one person on my walk who I actually know as well, owns the Gen Van Centre. Just check this. How gorgeous is this? I love it as well. Literally, countryside, loads of cows in this field. I've walked past sheep in this field. I've literally just started on one of the bridges, but I'm walking through to the village of Merthyr Mow. Stunning thatch cottages, all that sort of stuff. Literally reminds me of St. Fagans, which is a museum here in Wales, for you, those of you who don't know. But it's like old worldy. It's like literally stepping back in time every time you come down here. So I haven't driven down here in about a year or so, but I've never actually walked it. As I said, I'm a couple of miles into this walk already. So let's pick it up a little bit further down. Bit of a sort of dream area to live, really. It's pretty worldy around here. It's literally the sound of just a river going past. No traffic. It does get a bit busy in the summertime because um, there's a castle down here, a castle ruins. There's a Candleson castle, I think, at the top of my head. Can't even remember. But um, let's check all this. There's people in there playing tennis in a tennis court. Like a normal day, why not? Getting some exercise, isn't it? But um, this road sort of branches off to the left where you can go to Ogma by Sea. Um, the river's there. Loads of fields, stepping stones, some great pubs in that area. And then round to the right is another road. Don't ask me how even how long this is. It's got to be another two miles at least, if not a bit longer, to get down to the end of it. And then it's literally sand dunes, over the dunes, beaches, and you can go to Puthcall this way. Look at this, right? Last week we had guard, landscape gardener, chef, mechanic, toy dealer, tour guide today. That's what's going on. But you lot are telling me you like seeing me every single day. I don't know why, but there we go. And um, I'm trying to mix it up and bring you something different every day and different locations when I'm at it. So. Why not, innit? It's getting me out as well. Awesome. Right, I'll speed it up when we get down here a little bit. Another thing I'm enjoying as well in this area is barely any phone signal, which is nice. So, as a business, it's been a little bit quieter as well. I've left my phone on silent. It's been so nice to be away from social media and constant contact um, it's like reminding me of well when I was younger silly as that sounds I know I'm not that old now but it reminds me of times a little bit further back so what have you lot been doing during this lockdown you keeping busy you keeping active I know many of you have said what you're doing in comments but let me know if you're new to the channel also let me know what you think of all this coronavirus and everything that's going on and uh, yeah mental times isn't it I love it down here, literally love it down here. It's just so peaceful and chill. And there's woods off to the left, there's woods off to the right. And then we're coming up to some of the houses. I think the church is down here as well. It's a good job I didn't walk over there and I would have been taken out by a cyclist. <laughs> You know what I'm saying about all this uh, cottages and that's like walking through a live museum. Here we go. So you can see stuff everywhere. It's all old worldy. I know I've said that a few times, but today's word is old worldy. Like my buddy Dan Disorder. Old. Shout out Dan Disorder. Go check him out. That's my brother that does Viking views and bought a paranormal with me. A lot of time for the guy. A lot, a lot of time for the guy. Look at that. I love the flat cottages. Now am I right in thinking? The roofs have to be replaced every 10 to 15 years. I want to say, might be wrong, probably wrong. I'm sure I read that somewhere. It's the 
first car I've seen. So you see what I'm saying about this place? Absolutely stunning. I forgot how like pretty and tranquil it is to be honest with you. And this is a point now it's just telling about where we can branch off to the left. I'm gonna take you there first, show you that a little bit, come back on the main path and then walk further down. This one always reminds me of the Tots TV house, which I have explored and it is on my YouTube channel. It reminds you of Tots TV every time. I'm glad they've got these signs everywhere. I know it's the right to come for a little walk, but the one mass gatherings do. Seems to be quite a few people down there anyway, so I don't know how far we will go, but I'll take you down to the river to have a little look. How clear that is. Awesome. So the only problem with some, I don't know if you can quite make them out on here, is the bloody gnats. And here we go, here's the bridge right across. I don't even see uh, many fishermen there because I think it's private fishing as well, a lot of members fishing. That's pretty clear, isn't it? But anyway, that's a sign I've got, like, Ogmwanga and Association. This bit of flowers look cute. That's the river, right through there. You can quite make it out, that's the ruins of the Ogmore Castle. And all that's Ogmore by Sea, Pelican and Pite, good pub, war mills over here, Golden Cups the other side. A nice part of the world to live in, I'll be honest with you. Check this. So what I'm gonna do, as I've said, I'm not gonna go Ogmore today, that's gonna be another video. I'm gonna continue walking the Merth Mile route to the castle. So I'm still taking you through. Just dipped in there a little bit just to take a few pictures, see some people walking past. But there's the church. There's the old church, that's actually really pretty. It's lovely the way all the, rather than just grass in the cemetery as well, all the little flowers and stuff uh, coming through. That's one of the prettiest cemeteries I've actually seen. Are they bluebells? They are bluebells, aren't they? That is cute. If they're not bluebells, I do apologise. I'm not a florist or a gardener. But um, they sort of look like you. Yeah. That's actually really, really pretty. I love these sort of um, the, the big crosses on them as well, the graves. There we go, road ahead closed, which I'm guessing that's mainly just for cars. The urban explorer in me, whenever I see no trespassing, something closed, no access, it's just like I want to go and do it, I always do. Um, I've literally, I've been walking ages, um, I know you just guys are just seeing snippets here, there and everywhere, if I just literally filmed everything you probably get a bit bored of my pace of walking, so I'm just showing you some of the interesting bits, but tell you what, I know it sounds stupid anyway saying it, but you don't realise how quick you go in the car compared to what you're walking with it. Um, bonkers, it's a bit of a distance, like I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm loving it. So I'm guessing, the time I get down there, get back to the gaff, um, I reckon another, I would have done another eight to nine miles today which is uh, daily stuff at the minute, which is, yeah, pretty good, I suppose. But look, it's just the roads just go and go and go. <laughs> but I'm having fun, that's the main thing. Um, I'm making the best of a bad situation, and I can sit around and mope about it, or I can think positive. Just think every day is another day, you're getting closer to an ending, and just get out and do something, regardless of what it is. So 
yeah, show this castle when we get there. You're going to be disappointed now, because uh, it's not like you think big, massive, grand castle. Um, it is literally ruins, not even as good as the Ogmo castle ruins. It is like ruins, <laughs> but um, nonetheless, that's the goal I got in mind. That's the goal I'm going to achieve. So yeah, let's keep walking. As promised, I've made the walk and we are here. Totally don't be too disappointed. I've really, really enjoyed it. This is why I could never live in a big city. Because to me, this is escape time. This is cool. I know it's nice to get out in the hustle and bustle sometimes, but this is what you want. Do not climb the walls, there we are, be respectful. That's pretty cool. You could get up there easy enough if you wanted, but you know what? I will respect it. It's walking history, isn't it? That's what I love. Yeah, this is cool. fortified manor house known as a tower house built between the 14th and 17th centuries there we are building is a scheduled ancient monument and is an offense to damage or deface it do not climb on the walls awesome so there we go um that's another lockdown walk done i think isn't it so i've enjoyed it thank you for watching it that's if you've made it this far i don't know you might have got bored halfway through whatever but um i'm here so Keep positive, keep spreading that cheer. Um, peace and love as always. Stay safe. Boss out. Boosh.